Hello and welcome to another edition of Mystery Us. As part of our Heroes and Legends, our Unsung Heroes and Legends series, uh, we're going to have a guest uh, who is uh, my father, Vernus Pratt. And uh, he's, he's kind of a Nashville story. Uh, he came to Nashville in 1968 with a record deal, so he's kind of like every man's dream that comes to Nashville. And uh, he was a little bit too, uh, too rock and roll for country and too country for rock and roll. So, uh, welcome to Mystery Us, Dad. Well, thank you. It's nice to be here. Vernus Pratt. It's a V-E-R-N-I-S, like Elvis, but it's Vern, you know what I mean? All right. Now, you did a song called A Place in the Sun that was written by Stevie Wonder. Right. Now, when did you do that song? That it's was been like... about less than a year. That was in the 70s, right? When I first did it? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, it's it's a really really great song. It's got a, a, a your your uh, guitar player on there is Tiny T Bone McLeod, and he's like one of the greatest guitar players, if not the greatest that ever lived. Yeah. I mean, he's just unbelievable. We got some of his uh, videos. I got a vi couple of videos with his uh, music yeah. instrumentals on YouTube. He was great. And man. I've got your song, A Place in the Sun. Now, your version of the song is a whole lot faster than Stevie Wonder's, right? Yeah. His is kind of a slow. Like a funeral dirge. Like a funeral dirge compared to yours. Yours is rock and roll, yeah, baby. All right, well, uh, why don't we listen to Place in the Sun. Okay. And then we'll talk about it, and then we'll we'll talk about some more of your, your right. varied and checkered career. Although, because you, you had kind of several careers. You were a blues singer, a rock and roll singer, and a country singer, and gospel singer and whatever else, producer. So did it all. Did it all. Here we go. Like a long, lonely stream, I keep running for a dream, moving on, moving on. Like a branch on a tree, I keep reaching to be free, moving on, moving on. There's a place in the sun where there's a room for everyone, and my poor restless heart's got to run. There's a place in the sun, and before my life is done, Gotta find your place in the sun Tired, troubled earth I've been running since my birth Moving on, moving on Like an old dusty road I get weary from the load Moving on, moving on There's a place in the sun And there's a room for everyone and my poor restless heart's gotta run There's a place in the sun And before my life is done Gotta find me a place in the sun Gotta find me a place in the sun Gotta find me a place in the sun Gotta Fantastic. Uh, now you you moved to uh, we moved from Hazard, Kentucky, right. to Hendersonville, 
1968 you had a record deal. Uh -huh. Now let me ask you a question. I, I remember some of the press releases. Is it really true that you actually sang to farm animals as a kid, or was that just a little, little kind of hype there? Uh -huh. Was that embellishing on the truth? Did you actually sing to the farm animals, or? <coughs> well, <coughs> they you didn't was, applaud. They didn't applaud, okay. <coughs> they, didn't, they didn't really appreciate mm -mm. what you were doing there. I'd, uh, I'd go bring the cows in on a mule or a horse, you know. Uh-huh. And uh, the cows never appreciated my efforts, <laughs> you know. Cows didn't give you a standing ovation. Well, they were, I guess they were standing all, all the time. But yeah. Standing ovation from a cow, though, I guess it's not, not really, yeah, not really nice the same. Now, what was the record company that you uh, you were with? 16th, 16th Avenue, Avenue South. Avenue South, okay. Mm -hmm. And you recently got your master recordings back from them after mm -hmm. about 25, 30 years. And so, uh, now, you had two songs that were... Uh, really popular on the radio. They were like the number one songs in New York City and in uh, uh, LA and out in California on a bunch of radio stations. And one of those songs is called You Don't Miss Your Water. Yeah. Okay. And that's like, that, that comes from the old saying, you don't miss your water till the well runs dry, right? Or till yeah. your well runs dry. That's a line in the song. I right, think. that's a line in the song. Now, how did that song come about? Uh. That's a good question. I heard that guy sing it. He's from uh, Memphis. Uh -huh. The guy that wrote it and the guy that sang it first. Right. Cookie and the Cupcakes. Cookie and the Cupcakes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And uh, I liked the song, man, so I did it. Right, right. <coughs> and it's a real bluesy. Let's, uh, let's listen to that song. All right. Because that's, uh, that's a really good song. And that's uh, number five on there on your uh, CD. It's the fifth song. <laughs> Singers on there. Who were they? 
They were, they were the really smooth. Callaways. The Callaways. From Harlan, Kentucky. From Harlan, Kentucky. It's a bunch of sisters. Hmm, Harlan, Kentucky. <coughs> I heard that was a good place to be from. <coughs> yeah. Far from. Well, they they took the advice. Harlan and Hazard kind of uh, have a little that, rivalry yeah. there, don't they? Yeah. As to which one of them is the the uh, <coughs> wildest place or yeah. whatever. But I, th I think a lot of pe more people have probably heard of. There was a movie called Harlan County, USA they made yeah. up there. But I think more people have probably heard of Hazard because of the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, the Har Harlan. All that stuff. Uh, Harlan County is a dry county. Mm -hmm. There's one little town and a whole about four thousand people. So right. It's booze, you know. Yeah. But you used to play all the nightclubs up there in and around Hazard, and. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, it was a only wet county within a hundred and fifty miles, I believe. Really. And so all, you had a lot of crowds at yeah. these nightclubs. People drive in there for miles, man. Yeah. Surprised me, actually. Mm hmm They would drive that far. Of course, I thought they were driving to see me, but they may have just been driving to get a drink, you know. Right. Now, when did you, when did you first start getting into music? What age did you actually try well, to start professionally? I started playing uh, for money, I guess, when I was 18, 19. Wow. No. So you were playing in clubs at 18, 19? Yeah. Wow. I just got married when I was 19. Right, you got married when you were 19, and then I came along, and mm -hmm. everything went haywire. Yeah. <laughs> Messed up the apple cart. Messed up the apple cart. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> oh well. Now, and, and you knew a lot of, uh, you know everybody in country music. I mean, you've known Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson, uh, gave you uh you knew him before he was ever famous right before he ever got yeah. was a hit and all that uh his bass player was my bass player oh okay now i know willie uh, uh gave you a, a signed autograph photo and he signed it to the best singer in country music so he really thinks highly of your singing ability mm -hmm. and willie nelson's a really cool guy i mean he's got to be the greatest guy. guy in country music yeah i mean i think he is yeah He's the, he's uh, down to earth, treats down everybody earth. the same, man. Yeah. All right, now the uh, the next song that we're going to listen to is a song called Pearl's Not a Girl, It's a Beer. Now, how did, how did that come about? I met this guy in town here. He was from San Antonio. Mm hmm And... <clears throat> I don't even know where he got the song. Right. But uh, he was trying to pitch it as a commercial to Pearl Beer. Mm. But uh, we never got that job done. Or he never, he's supposed to got it done. He never got it done. Right. Well, it might have been because of some of the lyrics. Maybe some of those corporate executives didn't want the whole, the whole drunk and I can't get enough beer, <laughs> you know, yeah. idea out there. That's, that's possible. Or they might have thought, you know, somebody might think, well, you know, <clears throat> we 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 do want them to drink pearl beer, but we don't really we want them to drink responsibly. Don't want them to get drunk. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't actually get, become inebriated or anything. All right. Well, let's listen to uh, Pearl's Not a Girl. It's a beer then. It's a beer, it's a beer, finest thing in Texas, so I hear, so I hear, it was good for dear old pappy, and it sure did make him happy, Pearl's not a girl, girl it's, it's a beer. beer, when I put on my fancy pants, and Pearl and I go out to dance, round and round the ballroom floor, every now and then we pause for a very worthwhile cause, and he's right out the back door. Pearl's not a girl, it's a beer. It's a beer. Finest thing in Texas, so I, hear. so I hear. It was good for dear old pappy, Lord, it used to make him happy. Now Pearl, Pearl ain't, ain't a girl, girl it's, it's a beer. beer. Pearl and I, we make the rounds of all the honky-tonks in town, just to spreadin' all of that good cheer. 
we go on a trail ride. I get drunk cause dang my high. I just can't seem to get my fill of beer. Earl's not a girl, it's a beer. It's beer. Finest thing in Texas, so I hear. So I hear. It was good for the old Pappy Law. He used to make him happy. Now Pearl's not a girl, it's a beer. It makes no difference what the weather Pearl is good to have along She's a comfort on a frosty night And at a party she's out of sight Pearl won't ever do you wrong Pearl's not a girl, it's a beer It's a beer Finest thing in Texas, so I hear So I hear It was good for my old pappy Woo, it sure do make him happy Pearl's not a girl a beer. Yeah, Pearl ain't no girl, it's a beer. It's a beer. The finest thing in Texas, so I hear. So I hear. It was good for my old pappy, and it sure did make him happy. Pearl's not a girl, it's a beer. That's really cool. Um, now, Pearl's Not a Girl, It's a Beer is a song that uh, is your most popular song on uh, on uh, YouTube. I've got a couple of these songs up on YouTube. Yeah. And let me explain to the audience a little bit what we're doing. We're kind of doing the rock and roll stuff that you, you uh, on this particular show, and then we're going to do a country show and maybe a couple of country shows because we've got so many songs to get in. 70. 70, well, yeah, 70 songs, and, and uh, you're 70 years old, so uh, one song for every year. Uh, I, I, I don't think saying. there's been a song uh, done about the Cook County Jail in Chicago. Yeah. And that was kind Gay of a, jail. it's a love song, but it's more of a message song. It's just kind of like, I don't know what the message is, other than you don't want to you don't want to go there. You want to get out, is what you want. The message is, uh, you know, stay out of trouble and don't go to the Cook County Jail because you won't like it. Who, wh wh where did you cut that song? Was that in Nashville or was it in Muscle Shoals? Uh, I think I cut that at Merritt Studio. Merritt Studio. That's no, I'm on, not sure. That's on uh, Music I Row. I cut a lot of stuff in Muscle Shoals. So. Right. Right. Yeah, and Tom Picks, our buddy out there at Merritt, and he's yeah. he's been there forever. He's great, like the greatest, yeah, great engineer, man. And you've done a lot of producing out there. Yeah. Uh, you you produce uh, gospel, you produce rock, you produce country. Um, so, uh, what what what's the what's your favorite thing to do? I mean, you don't really dis differentiate so much about the different styles of music, right? No. Music's music. Music is music. It's all the same to me. Right. It's all the same seven notes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, when you when you do your producing, uh, you you just use like the, the top A players in Nashville. I yeah. mean, because I've seen like uh, Sam Bush, uh, Pig Rollins is a piano Robbins. player. Robbins. I'm sorry. Ro I always call him Rollins. Pig Robbins. He's actually a blind keyboard player who's Great. played on all the hit records that ever come out of Nashville, I think. He probably played on more records than anybody, really. You think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing to watch him when you're in the studio. He goes and sits down and listens. And boom, he's got it. And everybody else is writing them down, you know, yeah. but him. Yeah. Yeah, boy, you got a great memory. It's amazing just how when you're using those A players, how fast you can get stuff done because you're not really struggling with the musicians right they yeah. all it's like the first time they ever play it hey that's the best i ever heard that song in my yeah. life you know yeah uh i've been to a lot of the sessions over the years and uh, a team is hard to be boy yeah now there's a bunch of a teams now right yeah right there's several different like groups of maybe one and a half when i came here right 
<clears throat> Jerry Reed, who died recently, right, was on the A team. Right, Jerry Reed was a great guy. Yeah, and you you worked with uh, Jerry Reed and Burt Reynolds on a movie. Yeah, uh, WW and the Dixie Dance yeah. Kings, and you were like the. Uh, you were you were with the Teamsters at the time, right? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. You were Teamster captain and everything, and you got an autographed photo from Burt Reynolds. And yeah. You played a played a little cards with the boys there, right? On yeah, the I told them I was play tonk. Little tonk. Were y'all playing for money or just yeah. for fun? Y'all played for money, so yeah, quarter tonk. So who won? I mean, you, Jerry Reed, or I Burt won. Reynolds? Who oh, you, do you won. Think? So because you, but it was your game. Jerry got it was your good. game. Jerry got really good at it. Yeah. So he started winning a little bit too. Yeah. All right. Yeah, everybody loves Jerry Reed. I mean, he's the original guitar man, the greatest <coughs> guitar player, just up there with Chet Atkins. First day we went out to on on the set, we come back in and Jerry come up to me and said, "I can do this, man." Yeah, he's he and he did. He did all yeah. those smoking the bandit movies and great, everything man. with Burt Reynolds. Yeah, he was a great actor. Yeah. I had to see him pass. Yeah. I miss him. Yeah, I actually he was on a TV show interview right before he passed away and I called in and, and, and got to speak to him and mm -hmm. I asked him a question yeah. and stuff and uh so I got to connect with him a little bit. Great guy. Great Happiest guy. man I've ever met in my life. Yeah, he was like always upbeat, yeah. always always happy, always in a good mood. <clears throat> well, that's the way to be, folks. Um. The wind always blows in Chicago. There's a place where the air is steel. You never can feel the cool breeze in the Cook County Jail. I think of you, the kids at home, how I miss you. I can't describe these mixed emotions that I feel. My mind wanders for a moment, then reality returns. There's no escape from the cool county jail. But I would give just to see you one more time. Time passes slowly. Sometimes it seems it stands still Someday soon we'll be together Just you, the kids and me Then we'll forget there was a poor county jail Cook County Jail, and um, now you were, so you've been in music for 40 years, over 40 50. years, 50 years. 60. Yeah. Oh, and no. uh, you, you've, uh, you traveled all over North America, <coughs> your band, uh, you've had several different bands. Um, we're, we're, run, we're, we're about out of time here, and we're going to get to your last song, which is Stagger Lee. Uh, now, like I said, Stagger Lee's a song that was uh, recorded by Lloyd Price. So uh, let's uh, let's end the show with Stagger Lee. Is, is there anything else you want to say? You know, you know Not the fans really. out there. Hey, hey, everybody in TV land. Yeah, how is everybody out there? All right. Well, our last song is kind of one of your signature songs, and uh, it's uh, a song that was recorded by Lloyd Price mm. that's uh, Stagger Lee. Right. Stagger Lee, but your version is a little bit different. What's the difference between your version and it's pretty much the same, but it's... Well, mine may be a little more 
rocky. A little know. more rock and roll, whereas yeah. his was more blues. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's hear Stagger Lee then. The night was clear and the moon was yellow and the leaves came tumbling down. Well, I was standing on a corner when I heard my bulldog bark. He was barking at the doom and we were gambling in the dark. It was Stagley. Ernest Pratt, thanks for being our guest on Mystery Us. Hey, you're welcome, buddy. It's always a pleasure. All right. <laughs> 